Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff and this is Pelham's Aquatics. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, a short one, but it's going to be something that's near and dear to my heart and I think you may enjoy it. So without further ado, let's check out what I call the centerpiece snail. So what is a centerpiece snail? Well, in my opinion, it's this, uh, what's before you here? Something that catches your eye. It's generally larger than the other inhabitants in the tank, so it draws your attention to it. Similar to like looking at a solar system. You have the sun and you have smaller planets that surround it, moons. But the sun is at the center. That's just an analogy that I have for these guys in a nano tank with smaller uh, inhabitants. And so bringing us back to the centerpiece, uh, they do have their caveats. As we just seen that large snail, what I call parasnailing from above. When you have little denizens like these tiny little blue dream shrimp that are so beautiful I often I've seen some near misses that I'm quite concerned about um, I haven't seen anybody get hurt or anything but I can see the potential I mean look at the size of this uh, big boy or girl coming up here by them it gives me something to think about but I've seen other people who have kept these snails and shrimp together without any problems. Uh, they are very peaceful. Uh, they never harm any, go out of their way to harm anything other than food. Um, as you can see that uh, inadvertently they cross paths. And... <laughs> It's just a coincidence that the uh, snail is turning. There's not gonna be any harm come to the uh, shrimp. Just a little dramatization there for a moment, just for uh, entertainment purposes. And so are these cameos coming up of these uh, older snails that I have. Uh, you can notice that uh, some of these centerpiece snails have seen better days. Uh, they're getting up there in age. Um, and uh, a while back I did an experiment where I put them on just a bare bottom tank. Uh, it lacked calcium. I didn't add the right supplements to the water, so their shells did suffer from it. I now have them on aragonite, and uh, they are healing up quite well, and uh, I've learned my lesson from that. The uh, extra calcium from that also, I could add some uh, cuddle bone in there for them to... Uh, enjoy and that will also help strengthen their shells and just like people they will climb over each other to get ahead in life <laughs> but I think that's just a just a coincidence uh, more entertainment now over here on the right hand side you see the dark snail uh, it uh, is the oldest snail that I have in the fish room right now and it's just a tad over two years old um, and uh, its shell has seen its better days as well. Had a little fly by there with a blue dream, but that's nice. But yeah, he's older, and he or she, I'm not really sure what the gender is to be precise. I know there are ways to check, but I've never done it. Um, they, they breed for me, and I just let them do it. Uh, but this snail is older, and... Uh, I need to up my game with the calcium. Now there in the middle, you can see that beautiful gold that has the light cream. That shell is perfect, and that shell, uh, that snail grew up in this tank as well as that one. And the calcium level is higher, so their shells are nice and intact and very shiny. Just gonna glaze around the tank here and 
check out the other snails that are in here. We have some ram's horn snails. And, but not to get off topic from the centerpiece snails. I mean, the ram's horn can make a, a centerpiece snail in a tank as long as the inhabitants were quite small. Maybe shrimp or who knows, maybe some very tiny fish perhaps. But yeah, I just thought I'd take the time, guys, to go ahead and kind of video document these guys because they are one of my favorite inhabitants in, in the aquariums that I have. They've always fascinated me, and uh, they seem to be just quite interesting overall. So with that, I will... Let you enjoy the rest of the footage, and I hope everyone enjoys this. If you have any questions about Mystery Snails, please don't hesitate to ask. And please, uh, if you would, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, leave me a comment. I always enjoy interacting with everyone. And everyone, I hope you have a very wonderful day.